you had a habit of um, running through the company. Yeah. And as I recall, you took a different route. Yeah. Uh, not maybe not every day, but uh, what effect did that behavior have on uh, the organization? Well, you know that that goes back to you know Tom Peters and in, in Search of Excellence. Right. You know, management by wandering around. Right. And uh, he, but he didn't say running around. <laughs> well, and I did, and I, I ran a little, but I stopped running and I started walking because uh -huh. running, you couldn't connect. Right, right. So uh, this is the backstory there. It's interesting. Uh, I, you know, every time I do a Myers-Briggs test, I've probably taken it six times. I'm an introvert. <laughs> really? I'm an introvert. It took me, uh, so I sort of, I can get awkward with people now. Obviously, I'm comfortable with myself now at the age of 61. Right. But uh, it took me until I was 50, almost 50, until I was 49 when I started Campbell to actually be comfortable telling people, you know, I'm an introvert. Yeah. And, and so I needed, which is why the notes were so easy for me to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, yeah. I, I just loved doing it and I didn't have to actually, I could touch people that I wouldn't see yeah. naturally, but it was something that energy wise was I could manage. Managing by wandering around was a little more challenging because I actually had to go talk to people and things, and I'm shy. Yeah. And especially when I don't know people, and then I'm worried. Well, what are they going to think? The CEO shows up, and right. you know, right. and right. this whole thing's too awkward for me. Right. Well, we had a program that was uh, designed in our world headquarters to get 10,000 steps in, and for all, it was a health. It was you know, right. it was right. American Heart Association Month. wellness or something. Yeah, right. and yeah. and we and we had these signs: get your 10,000 steps in, and and I needed to get 10,000 steps in anyway for my own well-being. And I could never get a routine to do it, but I stumbled on something that worked. I realized that every day I had a half hour to 45 minutes that opened up on my calendar. It was never the same way twice, but a meeting would get canceled yeah. or end early. One would start 15. I always had time. And we would we'd try to block it out, but it never worked. But <clears throat> if I just was alert to the time at any time, where I'd have a half hour free, I would put on my pedometer and I would literally put on my running shoes. Mm -hmm. So when people saw me, they learned that he's actually getting his 10,000 steps in. Right. Uh, oh, here comes Doug again. He's doing his 10,000 steps. So I was doing it with a purpose, yeah. which made it more comfortable for Doug the introvert to go out there. And, and it created a platform for a conversation. Oh, you're getting your 10,000 steps in today. What's and, interesting and, to me about that, yeah. what's really interesting to me is um, you had a message. Yeah. And many leaders, if they have a message, will assume that the way to do it is to speak it. But you were demonstrating. Well, you, you speak it too. But, yeah. but the power of demonstrating it, I think, is almost greater than if you speak it. Oh, absolutely. Because they see the tennis shoes yeah. and they know that you're behind this program and you almost don't have to say anything. No. And pretty soon it starts to spread in different ways. And it also creates a platform for me to say, how are you doing? Yeah. Uh, how did that project go? Right. I heard you did real well on it. Congratulations. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, oh, I heard this was a tough one. How are we going to fix that? Right. You know, so I could... I could engage with them in an in a offhand, comfortable, natural way because right. I was just wandering around. Right. And I could go, and it got to the point where I was so comfortable walking around and people sort of weren't afraid of me anymore. Right. This took a few years. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'd see they're having a soup tasting. I'd be looking through the, this little window in a door in the lab and they'd have a soup tasting in there and they had a meeting. And I'd just walk in there and say, well, what's for lunch today? <laughs> and I'd join the soup tasting. And uh, it just created this world of approachability for leaders that said, you know, said, we're interested, we're paying attention, and this is fun.